The carefully constructed facade of domestic bliss cracks once more for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. In a scene as dramatic as any episode of Meghan Markle's former show Suits, Prince Harry's recent appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live took a shocking turn. While the intended purpose was likely to promote Harry's new memoir and burnish his image as a relatable royal rebel, the night unraveled spectacularly, leaving viewers questioning the Sussex's narrative and Harry's place in the comedic spotlight. Kimmel, known for his playful jabs at celebrities, seemingly struck a nerve when he poked fun at Harry's claims of royal mistreatment within his memoir. What followed was a masterclass in public meltdown. Harry, visibly flustered, resorted to loud pronouncements and attempted to deflect with accusations of Kimmel being a tabloid pawn. The awkward exchange culminated in talk show regular Billy Eichner, known for his flamboyant personality, stepping in to boisterously boo Harry and dramatically drag him off stage. While Kimmel and Eichner's performance was undoubtedly staged, it laid bare a deeper truth. Harry, once the beloved people's prince, appears increasingly thin-skinned and controlled. This pub public emasculation, orchestrated for laughs, speaks volumes about the current dynamic within the Sussex household. Gone is the carefree, charming prince, replaced by a man seemingly tethered to the whims of a formidable and some might say manipulative duchess. The internet, a breeding ground for Markle supporters and detractors alike, predictably erupted. Number Sussex squad defenders decried the racist and bullying behavior of Kimmel and Eichner, while others reveled in the public takedown. The incident has served to reignite the ongoing debate about the true nature of the Markle-Windsor power couple. Here's where the narrative gets murky. Was Harry a victim of misplaced humor? or was this a meticulously orchestrated attempt to garner sympathy? Let's not forget the carefully placed cameras that captured the entire episode, ensuring maximum social media impact. This calculated approach to humiliation feels strangely familiar a tactic seemingly ripped straight from the Duchess of Sussex's playbook. Markle, a self-proclaimed champion of mental health awareness, has a well-documented history of weaponizing victimhood. Her infamous letter criticizing her father's cooperation with the media painted a picture of a helpless woman wronged by a callous family. Similarly, her bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey portrayed the royal family as racist and uncaring. These carefully crafted narratives, however, have begun to unravel. Accusations of bullying staff at Kensington Palace and a recent lawsuit against a British newspaper for publishing a private letter to her father expose a sight of Markle that contradicts her carefully constructed image. The orchestrated humiliation of Harry on Kimmel Live feels like a desperate attempt to control the narrative once more. The public is growing weary of the Sussex's constant victim narrative. Harry's on-air meltdown exposes a deeper issue a seemingly unhealthy codependency within the Sussex household. One can't help but wonder if the charming prince is truly happy or if he's become a mere prop in the Duchess of Sussex's carefully curated reality.